Keeping venomous reptiles is an unforgiving hobby, requiring proper training and lots of experience. One simple mistake can be the difference between life and death. death, death. Remember, the most venomous snake in the world oh, is the whoa. one that just bit you. There are no venomous snakes with training wheels. Just because you see Viper Keeper handle snakes a certain way does not mean you should try it too. Earlier, about maybe half an hour, 45 minutes ago, I filled the weasel's water dish and he was just all over uh, the place over here trying to uh, uh, find out if he was going to get a treat or not. So be ready for anything with the weasel. Uh, chicks are on the menu today for these guys. Are we going to do some tail slapping? Huh? Sense of vibrations through the substrate. What, you exhausted yourself uh, with that earlier display? Or you're just going to wait and scare the crap out of me when I'm not expecting it. Is that the, oh, I see the tail moving now. I see the tail moving now. Oh, there goes the tail. I can't see it. I don't know if I've got this up high enough to see it. Oh. <laughs> well, no, you don't need to go so high to, to see him. Uh, hi, weasel. Oh, there's the tail. There you can see it. Come on. He's like, I, I've already made enough effort. Give it to me. There you go. Wow, that's most of the way down the hatch. Which is good because sometimes he'll forget and, and not eat, you know. He'll forget what he's doing and, and move on. So, how's that, Mr. Weasel? Is that tasty, huh? You're gonna have trouble getting that down your hatch because the head and pecker is off to the side. <laughs> <laughs> so, that will be a bit of a, a struggle for you, but I'm sure you're up to the task. Well, since you're Going ahead with your eating, uh, we'll just sit here and watch the weasel uh, devour his chick. The weasel, of course, is a Moorish viper. He's actually in the same genus now as the Russell's viper, Deboya. He used to be in a genus called Macrovipera. Um, I imagine some phylogenist somewhere is thinking about changing it back or putting it into something entirely different. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, these scientists uh, sit around and, and study the date, genetic data and, and c collect DNA from different specimens of the same species from different area and and then analyze it and compare it and is it different enough to make it a separate species? Is it closer to a different genus? Should we move it into this genus? Should we move it out of this genus? You know, like uh, uh, the blue insularis upstairs, uh, the lesser Sundaila pit vipers are in the genus Trimasurus, which is sort of like your junk drawer of snakes. They put snakes in Trimasaurus, at least if they're uh, Asian pit vipers, uh, into Trimasaurus just because they don't have a better place to put them right now and they're thinking about moving them all about. Um, for instance, uh, uh, the red spot pit viper was in Trimasaurus so then it went to Protobothrops, the Mangshang pit viper um, you know, went from uh, Zaurmenia and, and Mangshinensis, uh, is now in Protobothrops. Uh, 
Uh, so the phylogenists move these things about as they seem fit and then sit around a big table in a conference hall at a meeting and argue about it. <laughs> but, you know, it's important with these medically significant snakes like Mr. Weasel here uh, that the physicians and hospitals, you know, know that this is a specific genus and species because they have so many common names and depending on even what region inside of the country they may be found, uh, like the Russell's viper in India has about mm, 15 common names depending on mm, the group of people, the, the different uh, sects and dialects that are spoken. They have uh, all sorts of different uh, uh, names for them and it's best to know that they're de Boya Rosselli because um, then you can communicate to the doctor just how deep a pile of doo-doo you're in okay. after you get bit by one. He is having some trouble with that. Well, as I expected, uh, because, you know, the bird's got its pecker over here. Oh, oh no, 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 you know, you're not taking it from me. You're not taking it from me, Mr. Viper Keeper. That's what that was all about. I don't need any help. I'll figure this out on my own. So he may or may not. I may have to come back a little later and, uh, and see if he's been able to figure it out. Huh? It's a little tough when when they get folded like that because they don't all fit in the mouth. Look, dude, I'm just trying to help you. Go ahead, I'm not taking it. He's, a lot of venomous snakes act like dogs when you give a dog a bone and you try to take it from them. That's a really bad idea. It's the same thing with venomous snakes. If if you try to take something from one of them, uh, once they got it in their mouth, especially, you know, this guy, Elvis, uh, he, I learned very early on when he was a, just a young snake that once he grabbed the rat, I don't dare take it out of his mouth because then he actually got aggressive and came after me. But when he was smaller, he was easier to deal with um, when he's 14 feet long, when he's aggressive, you just run out of the room screaming like a little girl on playground <laughs> being chased by the boys. So, um, so at any rate, uh, we'll let the, the weasel continue here and we'll come back and make sure that he was successful in his endeavor. And he is just going to... Absolutely mash that thing to pieces. Yeah, well, that's trying to get it down his throat. Yep, that's exactly how he's going to do it. He's going to fight with it and until he can't fight it anymore. Mm -hmm. Good luck, dude. Yeah, he might not eat that. What are you doing? We're not sure of the sex. Uh, you know, I obtained these. Uh, these were a gift from a friend, very expensive gift, but he actually owed me some snakes that that sort of didn't do well after arrival. Um, this is a horned adder from uh, South Africa. They come in a multitude of uh, colors and, and sizes and stuff. And this one's a little, um, it doesn't, isn't eating regularly. Now this is supposedly the female, but it certainly acts more like a male in its feeding uh, ability. What? What? Huh? Am I bothering you or do you really want to drink? Huh? If you really want, or it really wants a drink, it'll come up and it'll start sort of sucking it out of the water bottle. But it doesn't seem to be terribly interested in that right now. 
Hmm? Well, let's put a little water in the dish just in case. I don't like putting a lot of water in these cages uh, with this walnut substrate because when it spills, it actually creates some mold that grows. So I, I minimize it. All right, well, let's shut this. Be careful, this is, this is supposedly the boy, but it eats like a girl. Would you like a drink? Huh? You already ate today, so don't be snappy. something you're interested in? No? Alright, but once again I'll put a little bit of water in here. Usually what I do is I spray the walls down with a, a mister just to give them uh, the opportunity to drink if they want. Hi there! Was that okay? Huh? Would you like some more? Would you like some more? Their scales are desert snakes like this, or oh, the Bitis peregrini, uh, all the dwarf Bitis, as well as the Cerastes genus, sand vipers. Their scales are designed in such a way that uh, because they only usually catch the morning dew, uh, the scales on the face and head are especially channeled so it funnels the, the water to the actual mouth of the snake so they can uh, drink it. But you know, these are arid land snakes, so they don't they don't drink a lot, they don't take much water because they don't need their physiology is such that they don't need a whole lot of water. And as you can see this one's quite pumped and quite uh, uh, well nourished. And we'll probably piss it off, but I'll scoot its, its tail out. Now that, that tail looks definitely female-like uh, compared to the other one, uh, which may be a male. Um, now I don't, I don't want to breed these, but yeah, this, this may, my friend, my friend may have them reversed. This may be a male. Um, although he doesn't have a very big package if he is a male. Um, but yeah, my friend confuses the sexes of snakes and I think this is why he he's, doesn't have any girlfriends.